Last night's Mouth Trumpet Monday song, the winner was Janet. Speaking of stars, Colorado Democrat Governor Jared Polis sailed to re-election last week after breaking with his party and easing COVID restrictions. Way back in 2021, he is considered a liberty lover for his support of school choice and his calls to end Colorado's state income tax. And even though he's a dem and we gotta own the libs, he's often called, especially by Nick Gillespie, the most libertarian governor in the country. Joining me now, Colorado Democrat Governor, Jared Polis. Uh, it's so nice to see you again, sir. Kennedy, it's been too long. Great to see you. Um, so how did you win big by uh, running on sort of a limited government platform? Is it something unique about the way you govern? Or is there something about Colorado that has to be governed differently than other uh, purple states? You know, uh, really, a lot of our messaging is around the work we did. I'm, it's simple. I'm for more freedom and lower taxes. We did the largest property tax cut in the history of Colorado. Uh, we did two income tax cuts. One was ratified by voters, 65 percent, the same election just last week. Uh, and we also protected freedom. That includes a woman's right to choose, the right to marry who you love. Voters even expanded freedom by allowing uh, use of uh, mushrooms for uh, people that are experiencing um, uh, psychological conditions and were one of the first states to move forward with that. So Colorado is really all about freedom and the ability to work hard and get ahead and personal responsibility. And those are basic Colorado values and yeah. I think American values as well. Well, we talked uh, last night with one of the people who helped write the ballot measure uh, passing psilocybin and psychedelic reform in your state, uh, obviously in a therapeutic setting, which I think will ultimately be very good and, you know, could be one of those things that is a template for other states. Are you friends with Gavin Newsom? Uh, my friends with him? I mean, I, I talk to him from time to time, maybe once every six months, once a year. Great. Uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, I, I, he's an associate. I'm the chair of the Western Governors. I was close to Doug Ducey, Mark Gordon, Spencer Cox in Utah, Michelle Lujan Grishin. Uh, I work a lot with the Western Governors. Okay, so please call Gavin Newsom and tell him about the things that you've been doing in uh, the tax and school choice realms, because if, if that level of free thinking infected California, you could vastly improve that state. So obviously you have a different way of doing things. You have a different prism through which you see politics and governance. So you also have to be looking at some of the very old people who are in charge, who are running this country into the ground. And it must occur to you like, wow, someone like me could really make inroads with independents and libertarians, not to mention Democrats. So would you consider running for president in 2024. You uh, I'm, I'm not looking to do that, Kennedy. I love Colorado. One of the great things is we have term limits in our legislature for governor as well. So we have a lot of young people. I mean, my goodness, our legislature, there's people in their 20s, 30s. You got all, all different ages. It's a part-time position, so you can do it while you work your career. I just spoke to the Republican and Democratic freshman legislators today in Colorado Springs and welcome them. So, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's this, the, kind of this mobility, the citizen legislator, legislature and mm -hmm. term limits, it, it provides for a lot of infusion of new blood. And we're excited to have that yeah, in our legislature here. People in their 20s and 30s don't want to work. So, you know, if they're if they're actually uh, well, governing you know, the look, legislature, that's you know, you po politics aside, you know. The, the, the people that run for office, they're hard workers, right? I respect them. I mean, you're running for state legislature. Uh, you know, you, you're running full time for months and going door to door. It ain't glamorous. It's good work. I'm glad we have folks that are willing to roll up their sleeves and do it on mm -hmm. both sides of the aisle. Well, I can't wait to see what you do next because, you know, it, it is always unconventional. Anything that is pro-freedom, I am a fan and supporter of. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And I don't know if they say this like they did in Oregon, but keep Colorado weird. Thank you, Governor Polis. Let's, let's keep it weird. Thanks, Kennedy. <laughs> Hope to see you again soon. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.